I'm here with Luis Rico at Red Hat Summit, and you did a presentation this week around the challenges that the retail industry faces. And I was wondering if you could kind of recap what some of those challenges are. Yeah, sure. So nowadays, uh, the problem of the retail industry is that they have to sell online and uh, online stores have to be completely available 24 by 7. So everybody, every minute is purchasing something. Uh, there is somebody purchasing something uh, uh, all the time no, in the online stores worldwide. No? So the systems have to be completely highly available. They have to be uh, geo-distributed because they, you have to attend the global uh, you know, uh, customers, and the problem now is they have to comply with the national regulations, the the, nat the national different legislations in the countries. So, if a citizen from Ukraine is purchasing something to a retailer through an online store, they have to comply with the le legislation in Ukraine or in China. So, sometimes this implies that. Uh, for example, the bills uh, of the purchasing transaction have to be physically stored in the country where they are produced. Other challenges are the, they need really to, to have very good performance. No? So if somebody is visiting your online store and uh, they are not able to navigate properly because it's taking too much time to show the prices or to show the products that you are selling, is they are going to jump to another website and you are going to lose a customer and to lose a transaction. Especially in certain dates, no? for example, speaking about uh, summer sales or Christmas sales or uh, Black Friday, no? uh, the amount of uh, people uh, accessing uh, your online store is massive no? and you have to make sure that you have you are able to attend them all. No? So this is, these are the challenges. So it's, it's getting really more and more difficult to provide the right solutions in, in storage to, to make sure that they are satisfied, satisfying the requirements. So from a storage perspective, how does, how does Ceph help solve some of those challenges? Yeah, so the good thing about Ceph is, is a, a, you know, a software defined storage solution uh, a, a able to scale massively and to provide uh, and store millions of objects. No? So in this, in this sense, uh, it's, it has no limits no? in the scalability it can provide. It's a high available solution, it's completely distributed scale-out architecture, so you can uh, scale as, as, as you grow, as you need, as you need more to attend more customers, you can add more servers, more disks. You can also completely customize the kind of hardware that you use with Ceph Storage to make sure that uh, you can uh, meet the performance requirements that you have. So in this sense, it's, it's an, this open source technology is able to, to provide this, uh, you know, to meet uh, these requirements. No? Uh, also, the, um, the, there is a feature inside Ceph, it's called multi-site architecture. We are able to uh, distribute Ceph clusters across the globe without no limitation in the distance between them, interconnect them, and make sure that we are able to replicate them to provide disaster recovery, high availability, business continuity, and, and you can store these bills uh, physically in the data centers in each country, and you can comply with these uh, regulations okay, uh, across the globe. So in that particular scenario, Ceph's helping with things like GDPR? Or exactly, it's very important. No, we are more and more strict with the national regulations. In EMEA, is, the GDPR is, in this sense, is uh, being more strict and, and very specific about uh, the data you have to maintain related to your, to your customers, to the transactions. So in this sense, uh, we need platforms and a storage platform that provides the flexibility to comply with all these regulations. So what other kinds of things can Ceph help with from a retail perspective? It's starting to be used to store, uh, you know, uh, big data, uh, so as a shared data lake for, uh, for analytic, uh, analytics uh, processing. So in this sense, uh, we can increase the number of, of use cases for Ceph storage and, and we can take full benefit of it. No? And, also for artificial intelligence and for machine learning is that you need massive amount of, of data to train machines and these kind of things. It's, it's providing the right solution to, to accomplish and, and, and satisfy the requirements of these new cases. No? So I believe the Ceph is in this sense the, the future of storage. I look forward to seeing the future. Thanks Luis. Thank you.